Okay, so if you blew all of your money in your 20s on booze, shoes, and food, but now you're in your 30s and you want to get your financial shit together, this video is for you. Come with me. We are going to make some chicken soup together, and I'm going to share with you four tangible to-dos that you can start right now to help you go from broke to ballin'. And for those of you who don't know me, I'm Nicole Victoria. I went from making $50,000 a year with $40,000 in debt to becoming a millionaire at the age of 30. Now I teach others how it's done. The absolute first thing that you are going to do is start building out your emergency fund. And this is because life is always going to throw crap at you. We don't know when and where it's going to happen, but we know at some point in time, shit is coming our way. And the way you come out ahead in life is by expecting the unexpected as much as possible. You are going to work up to six to 12 months of bare bones expenses in a high yield savings account. This is exactly like a regular savings account, except it pays you more money. Now do not sleep on this opportunity. I make a couple thousand dollars a year off of my account. The second thing that you're going to do is start working on increasing your credit score. I know this may not seem important to a lot of people. However, when we make large purchases like houses or cars and we finance them, you will pay thousands to tens of thousands of dollars more in interest than somebody who has good credit. Having bad credit is an expense that you cannot afford to have. Stop throwing your money away. The third thing you're going to do is put a plan in place to pay off all all of your high interest debt using the avalanche method. So basically what you are going to do is get out a piece of paper, list out all of your debts from the highest to the lowest interest rate and start paying them off in that order. This way you will pay them off the fastest with the least amount of interest. This means more money in your pocket. Anything locked into a low interest rate, think like sub 4% is not a priority from a financial perspective. I'm looking at the people who are locked into a 2% mortgage rate for the next 30 years. Instead of putting any extra money on low interest debt like that, what I want you to do is use it for step four. Step four is you are going to learn how to invest. If you only ever trade your time for money, there's always going to be a limit to how much you can make. But when you invest, your money works for you and what you can make is limitless. What I want you to do is invest in things like index funds, ETFs, asset allocation funds, target date funds. You can buy these investments with a single click and then you can start getting paid while you sleep. I've created a free investing masterclass to help you learn more. If you want to check it out, go to our link in bio. Now I got to go wash my chicken hands.